Little did our next man dream that when Santa brought his first train, the result would be a lifelong passion for collecting and operating. His career as a city planner added to his love of layout design. The word enthusiast doesn't even begin to describe Peter Atona's passion for trains. For model trains, real trains, pictures of trains. Every era, every size, every facet of trains. Peter was nine years old when Santa brought his first Lionel train set. Well, my first set came in Christmas of 1948. It um, was a basic 2026 uh, steam engine, and I ran it till I ran the wheels off of it. I managed to repaint every single piece of Lionel I had in, in, in those days, uh, which of course destroyed any potential collector value, but then who knew about collector value in 1948, 49, and 50? Um, but I actually, over the years, I got put back together that original set, and so I have a recreation of that good old Lionel 2026 set. To Peter, taking an idea and making it real in three dimensions is thrilling. Basically, I'm trying to model a my vision of a real-world Arizona type of setting, and I've tried to create uh, towns thematic of what a railroad through Arizona would be. That takes a lot of creativity, given that Peter has five layouts. The one that you see right behind me now is a post-war layout, and uh, it really is a small layout trying to use classic Lionel track, 022 switches, you know, the control panel is all from the, from the 50s. Uh, the big one that surrounds me is what I call my high rail layout, and that is the Seligman and Paulden lines uh, with an imaginary railroad that runs from Seligman, Arizona, diagonally through the state of Arizona uh, to my hometown of Douglas, Arizona. Then, straight behind me, uh, you'll see a pre-war layout, which is O-gauge and standard gauge, uh, and everything on that layout was made before World War II, uh, basically from the middle 20s, the classic Lionel era uh, up to the, the, the Second World War. And what I have now done is starting to build little diorama-type layouts. So I have one of Lionel double O-gauge, three-rail double O-gauge, a small little layout with pre-war houses and a little Lionel Hudson set running. And then I'm in the process of building a new diorama uh, using Lionel's recently produced Best Friend of Charleston train, which inspired me to do a diorama of a, like an 1840s, 1850s uh, South Carolina town. That's a lot of different layouts. Why so many? Maybe it's my background as a city planner and a civil engineer. I like conceptualizing layouts. It's fun for me, and they seem to have turned out okay. Everything in his layout has turned out better than okay because of his attention to detail. Not just in designing the layouts, but take close look at his buildings. I can't take a, a structure and just leave it as is. Uh, the structures that are on the layout are either Scratch built, you know, I just take pieces and parts and put them together, or they're kit bashed, where I take sections of a kit and add them to another section to make something that's unique. Uh, or if it's a, a standard, re uh, basically built building, then I'll have to repaint it because plastic always looks like plastic. So, you know, to me, the building has to have some uniqueness for the, for the layout. Uh, they have to have interiors, so you'll notice that most of the buildings actually have interiors added to them. Because again, I'm trying to create a, a little world in, in miniature, and so it's easier to take stuff and redo it uh, to make it fit my vision. When model train enthusiasts have this much passion and interest in the hobby, they generally have way more than what comes to rest in the train room. But thanks to his wife, Mary Jane, Peter doesn't have that problem. When we moved here and built this house, Mary Jane and I had an agreement. Well, actually, she had the agreement and I agreed to it. And that is, you could only keep the things you can display on the shelf or put on the layout. So that means that even though I've added a shelf or two here and there, whenever I buy something new, I almost have to sell something old. So over the years, I've probably sold twice of what I have shown on the shelves here just to be able to make the room for the new wonderful things that I'd like to have now. Peter's love for trains dovetails with another hobby of his very beautifully, photography. 
I've always enjoyed photography. I don't know what it is, but since I, even before I got my first train set, I had my box camera down at the train station. Since then, I've become a typical rail fan photographer. Wherever I travel, I take my camera, ride in tourist railroads, and uh, just enjoy the merging uh, of the two hobbies. Between the rail clubs, the train collecting, layout building and design, and rail fanning, you'd think that Peter has pretty much run this hobby dry. But that's the beauty of train guys. They never run out of steam.